Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, for bear. You see what's going on, right? <laughs> the true promise of the Lord, they're not pushing peace. You see, they're not pushing equality and all this other BS. The economy going to bounce back. No, we're pushing evil. Bad times. We're prophesying of evil. Bad times. We're prophesying against countries. Why Why in the world would the Lord send his servants, the prophets, to uplift a wicked society? You see, they prophesy good things for a wicked society. Come on, that don't even sound right. Why would the prophets of the Lord pretty much pray for a society that's wicked as hell? All right? It's pushing pushing all kind of debauchery, loot. It's, everything is upside down. In a, in a country, in a kingdom like that, the men of the Lord are going to prophesy against it. So 2020, I call it 3,000. You see? But the real term is 2024. I call it 3,024. The men of the Lord are prophesying. Soon come, people be going to be going at odds just to get a bottle of water, all right? Most definitely get some food. That, that's the sore arrows of famine is coming. More lockdowns, more mandates, more juicy fruits. You see, Capri Suns, all the above. Wars, rumors of wars, you name it. More earthquakes, more floods, more storms. It's getting more chaotic by the second. Get you Israelites better get down with the get down. All right, more more false flags are all the above, all the above. More sedition of men, more protests. Jeremiah twenty eight and eight. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesy told you what was going to happen before the event. Ain't going to be no excuse. Look, look, more more missile missiles being launched. You see, better um missile technology capability. The distance it can go, more chariot sightings, all of the above, more on um, what is it, aborigines, not aborigines, but uh, apparitions, more, more fearful sights, uh, all the everything that the scripture said was gonna come to pass is coming to pass real time. You, it's so much stuff you can't even keep up with it. Uh, look, look, more deletions. More people are going to be deleting each other, but oh yeah, as long as you got that circus and bread, as long as you got a football game, a basketball game, a whole lot of damn comedians with distractions, long, long, you see, we got to stay focused, Israel. Yeah, we watch certain things, but look, don't get caught up in the hype. We got to stay focused on prophecy, right? Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied, they told you what was going to happen before it even happened, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. World War Three, and this is going to be a nuclear war. This this war shall be with burning and fuel of fire, as as it describes in Isaiah the ninth chapter, verse five. Right? Well, well, look, this this slain of the Lord going to be from one end of the earth to the other, right? And look, the like end of evil, meaning bad times. The prophets prophesy of evil. The warning has went forth, and of pestilence. You're going to see less and less food at the grocery store. You see, uh, more of a heavy infestation of rats, roaches, bed bugs, crime, the loss of jobs, more businesses closing down. All those are pestilences, right? More diseases, all the above. And before these things happen, we, we tell you of it. I, I want to get that right quick. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact let me just get some, some, some right here. I might, I might as well get this. Ezekiel chapter 7. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse um, 3. Now is the end come, the end of an age. We're at the end of this man's age, right? Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee. 
and I will judge thee according to thy ways. But everybody's still saying on some wicked nonsense. Wickedness is being pushed right about now. And our people are two thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're eating it up, man. They they eating up this wickedness. They they into it, man. They getting it in, man. They get it in and little just not knowing that they're going to be judged. Repent, Israel, and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense me to pay back upon thee all thine abominations. What's an abomination? A wicked, filthy act, right? All hell breaking loose. And our people feel like the only thing they can do is commit wicked acts. They, they, they love it too. And they, they don't hide it either. They bring it right to the forefront. They let everybody know what's going on. Just not knowing that the Lord got a snare and a trap set up for them, right? It says, um, in mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. You're going to know why you're being punished, and you're going to know who's punishing you. You're going to know it. It ain't going to be a shadow of a doubt what's going on. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the evil, meaning bad times, and only evil, meaning more bad times, behold, it's come. And, and the Lord is about to make it clear. He's about to make it manifest upon all you wicked people upon the face of the earth, mainly you Israelites. Remember, 3,000, you call it 2,024, the whole full year of Jacob's trouble. Remember, more mandates, more lockdowns, all the above. A man and a woman going to desire to go into a city and they ain't going to be able to go into one unless you get clearance. Unless you get clearance, meaning you're going to have to have that C-hip. You're going to have to have that implantable device in order to get from one place to another. You see, you had to get from one side of the town to the other. Yeah. To get into your job or all of the above. To get into a grocery store. To pay your bills. You're going to have to have that C-hip. Keep thinking everything is a joke. What it say? Thus said the Lord in evil and only evil. Bad times on top of bad times. Behold, it's come. And you see it. You saw You saw. Um, 2024 started off with a bang, earthquake, storms, uh, planes collided to each other. And look, just the beginning of sorrows. An end is come. The end is come. And watch over thee. Behold, it come, man. And, and this is what we're telling our people. Thousand upon thousand upon thousand upon thousand upon thousand upon thousand upon thousand 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 upon people, man, are gonna be destroyed, man. Look, and this is what the scriptures say in Joel chapter one, verse fifteen. Let's just get this right quick. Joel chapter one, verse fifteen, and it reads, "At last, for the day, for the day of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is at hand, and and as a destruction." From the Almighty shall it come. Only thing this devil thinking about is destroying you. And before before the Lord comes, I'm saying this devil gonna have you in a quagmire. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's get this. Let's get this right quick. I people think this devil is really gonna have them, but oh look, man, if if you only knew, if you only knew. Matter of fact, I, I, since I said something, about, I'm gonna read nine and then I'm gonna jump down to seventeen. This is Lamentations chapter four, verse seventeen. This is just blow it up. Because the sword arrows of famine is coming. No matter if these people keep saying it's peace, we're, we're, we're creating better foods and better grades of this and better grades of that. How the hell is something going to be better when it's fake? How the hell is rice going to be better when it's made out of plastic? I mean, let it make sense, devil. You so you think you can create something better than the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son? You're creating fake shit, but you're saying it's better. Everything is fake. Taking out the nutrients out of the food, and you call it better? Shit, man charge and, and deletion. You know what I'm saying? For hire. Look, look at that. You see? Just look at that. Damn, young. Look at that, man. Damn, damn, 18 wheelers. People being deleted by way of 18 wheelers. This is getting bad out here. Seek the Lord, Israel. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 9. Because the Lord is in control of everything anyway. There's always a damn recall on some of that shit. Can't he eat applesauce no more? Can't he eat the applesauce with the put with the in the pouches no more? That's what I'm saying. Everything got goddamn lead in it. This, this man poison in the air. Oh yo yeah yeah. Just, you want to stay here though, right? You people through. You just like to through. Lamentation chapter four verse nine. They that be slain with the sword, meaning a blicky, a G U N. A rat -a tat tat They that be slain, meaning deleted with the sword, are better than they that be slain, meaning deleted with hunger. Because that's the worst kind of deletion, to be, be, to be deleted by hunger. 
for these pine away, meaning your body start rotting away, start eating off itself. When, when you can't get food, guess what? You become the food, but you didn't know that either, though, right? For these pine away stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. And that's what we're telling you is coming. Of the sore arrows of famine. Let you know what's going to happen before it even happens. But let's go here. And the people that's ruling the earth, they don't even believe in the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You see? They give you an illusion. Nobody don't give a damn about no damn glo gloating, uh, golden glove awards either. All that shit is fake, man. All right? I idol worship. You see? You Israelites better focus on your Hawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Mainly you damn women. Y'all love that soap opera lifestyle. Shit is hitting the fan. All here. The hell, the hell with that soap opera shit. Look, look. Life is hard. You see? Life is hard. Better, better get your man before you be looking somewhere, um, looking, looking through as hell. By, by your damn self. All right? Lamentations 4 and 17, as for us, the Hebrew Israelites, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. The help is empty. What did it say? Uh, woe, to, woe to him that trusteth in man. All right? In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. The nation that you're going to for to be, to be saved is pretty much the same nation that, that's destroying you. <laughs> They're destroying you secretly. But now that's coming out. This coming out. They ain't hiding nothing no more. Sleazy he ain't hiding nothing no more. He like, yeah, 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 I'm set up, I'm set up to destroy you. You see? Let's get let's get this. Micah chapter two. Ain't that it? Um Oh yeah, not that it. This man's only job is just to just to uh, further oppress us. That's all. I want to get um just something quick too. Was that scripture I was gonna get? Yeah, I, 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 might, I might as well get this. First Thessalonians chapter five. Look, remember this man was um given power to take peace from the earth. Now say uh first Thessalonians chapter five. We we'll just go to the point, verse three. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three, and it reads, For when they shall say peace and safety, that's the message that they put in this voting season, right? It's voting. Them lines gonna be long as on nowhere of Jake just standing in that line looking stupid. You you can look stupid, man. Real crazy as you usually do. Big ass hats, big ass wigs, got them tight ass suits on with them hard bottom shoes, looking crazy standing in that line. When it, when this man don't care about you, they don't believe in the heavenly Father. They don't believe in the God of the Bible. They don't believe in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. They getting them marching orders from the spiritual demon Satan, but you didn't know that though, right? First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. As to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, you didn't hear that. You didn't even know that was in the Bible. You Israelites didn't even know that scripture was in the Bible, man. It, it, it's written right there. Revelation chapter 6. That's why these lessons that we do are only for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's going to get bad out here for you Israelites, man. You Israelite men and women that don't repent. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, and it reads, And there went out another horse, which represents power, that was red, which represents Esau, Edom, and the so-called white man, all right, woman and child, and look, and power, because cause they're the biblical Hebrew Edomites, all right? We're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. They're the biblical Hebrew Edomites, right? It's a difference. And power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth. So once again, it's going to be more mandates, more lockdowns, more curfews, more sedition of men, more, more evils, all right? More evils. More juicy juices, you know what I'm saying, being pushed. You see, everything is going digital. So so in order to function in a digital society, you're going to need a digital device. But you ain't got to take our word for it. You ain't got to believe the Bible. Look, we can't, everything that we say comes out of the Bible, right? The B-I-B-L-E, the book that you say you love, right? We just say, and power was given to him that sat there wrong to take peace from the earth. Well, I mean, you got to be blind to not see that peace is being taken from the earth. If you don't see that, I, I mean, don't even watch the videos no more. If you don't see that peace is being taken from the earth, you don't see all this violence, all this chaos, all this, brrr, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, this rapid fire, just going throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in Babylon. But you thought, you thought that these third world countries, hell, America is a third world country now. Look, look, more homeless people. It's gonna be more skid rows everywhere. Hell, there might be a skid row in your in your front yard. 
And you ain't going to be able to do nothing because the laws on the books uh, that tells you to where if a homeless person set up a tent in your front yard or he, he could even be in your garage, you can't even do nothing. You got to take the proper procedure, you know what I'm saying, to get somebody out of your garage. Are you serious? Are you serious? We're living in a country where only the crooks, you know what I'm saying, thrive. You see, where only the wicked people prosper. You see, you're doing the right thing, you don't come up. You go down, you, you're promoting wickedness, you thrive, you blow up, you, you become a millionaire. This place is going to burn, man. And it's a little wonder, and good, good for it, man. And power was given to him that sat there wrong to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And that was given to him a great sword. And you go to Genesis to find out about that. I think it's Genesis, the, uh, the 27th chapter. You can read about Sleaze and e Esau Edom receiving a sword. Which is technology, is weaponry, all, all the above. Let's get this. Our people, uh, that's why I might name the video. You don't have a clue what time it is. You don't have a clue of what's getting ready to happen, man. But you, but you, you gonna find out the hard way though. Revelation, which the word revelation means to reveal. Twelve and twelve. The Lord is revealing it to you what's coming down the pipeline. Re Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Because remember, we just read uh, Revelation 6 and 4. He was given power to take peace from the earth. Woe destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. That's why I go on right back to um, St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. It says, and if that time, the Lord don't shorten the time, there shall no flesh be saved. Because this devil like, yo, if I can't rule the earth and wickedness, then, look, then nobody can't rule. Sleaze the ease, pretty much declaring war against the whole earth and everything inside of it. He, he said if he can't rule the earth in wickedness, then damn it, by golly, where's no one can rule. That's what this devil is saying. More to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. And then when we read the scriptures about this man um, being given power over the earth to take peace from the earth, our people don't even understand what that means. Th meaning this man was given the power to delete you. You see? To delete you, to frame you, to lock you up, you know what I'm saying? Throw away the key, all the above, man. To do something evil and wicked to you, evil to you, man. You see? And look, and get away with it for right now. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, the deceiver, the slanderer is coming down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And this is who's ruling the earth, and we wanting our people. This man is actually ruling the earth, and he was given power to rule it in vigor, in wrath. The, look, with the continuous stroke, he ain't litting up. He's not going to lit up until he's taken out of power. This devil is not going to lit up until he's taken out of power. Remember, he, he, he showed no mercy. He showed no mercy, so he's not going to receive any mercy. That's why we got to constantly pray. And, and he's the whipping stick of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. I, I got one more, then I got the roll. Look, before these things spring forth, we tell you over Israel. Matter of fact, Job, Job 9, 24, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And I just want to just something quick. Just something quick. Psalm chapter 10, verse uh, 4. The wicked, sleazy Esau, Edom, that's still around, through the pride of his countenance, would not seek after the most high. The Most High Yahweh through His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai is not in all His thoughts. So how can this man do any good for you? He don't believe in a power of peace. He doesn't believe in a power that shows tender love and mercy and kindness. You see, he don't believe in that, right? His ways are always grievous. So so get ready. Three thousand and twenty-four. His ways are always grievous. He, he's passing while you was out singing um, five, four, three, two, one, drunk as hell, throwing up every day and well, pissing on yourself. This man was passing, um, pushing forth more mandates, you know what I'm saying, and unrighteous decrees. But you was too drunk, you know what I'm saying, to, to notice it, all right? You see? It's crazy. His ways are always grievous, and you're about to find out the hard way you have been warned. His ways are always grievous. You got men paying thirty-two thousand dollars, no saying, um, a, a month for child support. This shit is crazy. Every, all these women on the damn witch hunt. This this shit is crazy, but all because of the laws that he's passing. But it's almost over though. Sleazy and these women. This is their kingdom. You see, Sle Esau, Edom, and these women. This is their kingdom. No saying, but the kingdom of heaven, which will be established on the face of the earth, is going to be ruled by men. All right.
The next world will be ruled by men. Do, do you do you women hear that? So so run your this is the last time you're gonna be able to run your damn mouth. This is the last time you're gonna be able to mess with um um a thousand dudes. This is the last time for all that madness, man. This, this man weighs a grievous as shit. All right. This is the last time a woman would be able to say, "Oh, uh, I don't. I'm not gonna go to um, IHOP. I'm not gonna go to um, the cake gum, um, the cake factory, and all whatever." You see, all hell gonna be break, breaking loose. She's gonna be thankful for just a, a corner, a crumb of some bread soon come. You see, a crumb of some bread. These women gonna be begging for crumbs soon come. You see, because this devil ways are always grievous. He gonna put hell on the man and the woman. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As and as for his enemies, he puffeth at them. So, so it's getting ready to go down. And the only thing, our only job is just to warn you. Come out and warn you. This devil's getting ready to come in with great wrath. You have been warned. Evils and only evils. Shalom.